Well, how's everybody doing today? As you can see, I have a load of um, hay in behind the truck here that we're gonna unload here in a little while. Uh, we have a couple of landlords that um, need baled hay in exchange for the land rent for their horses. So that's what we're gonna work on here today. We're gonna get some loads of hay unloaded and get that job done. Now, this hay we end up buying um, from another from another neighbor, um, we ended up selling our little baler and wagons to um, to a neighbor not too far from us. So we end up just buying the buying the baled hay from him. It kind of saves us a little bit of time. We don't have to dick around with um, with raking and, and baling and all that crap. And uh, we only ever ended up using our baler enough to. Uh, we bailed about eight loads, seven or eight loads every year is all. So that's all it takes to uh, furnish the amount of hay that we're having to furnish to the two different landlords. So we're going to work on unloading that here today. We unloaded some the other day. And we're going to unload the rest of it today. And then we're going to work on getting um, our big balers out for... Um, wheat straw and we end up cutting wheat here in a few weeks we're gonna run through them balers and get get them out get them going and uh, we're gonna get after it so we're gonna be back to the farm here in a minute I've got to run these uh, loads of hay across our truck scale to get a weight on um, what's on these wagons and we'll uh, we'll get to unload them here Okay, uh, I just ended up weighing that load um, that I had in behind the pickup. And we've got truck six in the shop that we've got to work on later. That's got a broken motor mount on it on this left-hand side. And we've got a um, power steering hose to uh, put on it as well. So we'll get after that when we get back from uh, unloading hay. We're gonna run the 4320 down with that uh, load of hay here. We ended up taking the tools off the other day. We put the uh, regular muffler back on there.
kijken of we stekken nou. All right, we've got the fourth load off. We're waiting for Sean to go after another one. Um, this is not really ideal conditions in here. We're not using an elevator, so we're starting the mow in the back. Usually you start the mow in the front, and then it keeps your mow from tipping over, but we're not gonna be putting that much in here. So we're piling all the bales on edge, and we're leaving the uh, cut side of the bale up. You know why you leave the cut side of the bale up there, Nate? Why is that? So they can breathe. So that's something all the old timers did. So we've got a um, barn just like this that we uh, used to pile um, hay into. Ours was a little longer, had two drive in floors and uh, up on Rouse Road. So. But um, this mow would hold, yeah, 3,000 bales. This one would hold um, right up to the roof. And, uh, yeah, you'd have to use an elevator, though. So we're just kind of throwing these in by hand. So we're waiting for Sean to bring back another load. And then uh, we're going to get this unloaded. It's hotter than hell in here. There's no air movement whatsoever. So we're going to wait for Sean to get back here.
Well, that's a wrap. All right? Right. Well, that's the last load we have to put in here. So we are, how tall are we? Five tiers? Yeah. Third of the sixth one. All right, so we're going to get these wagons back, weigh out the uh, empties, and get on with the rest of the day. We're back here with both balers. We'll run down and look at the other baler here in a minute. But this is a uh, John Deere uh, 100 big baler. Let's see, we need a couple of rolls of twine there. Um, I forget how, how long we've had this baler. Probably all of 12 years now, um, probably. I don't know. But we had bought this baler new. Sean's just running around it with a. With a grease gun now, we had this baler stored uh, 10 miles away from here. He um, unhooked it here in the hay barn. He's just running a grease gun around it now. Um, we won't be using it for a couple, three weeks anyways until we get weed off, but we wanted to get it back here. and Run a grease gun around it, get it serviced up, get it ready to go. It's actually got more twine in it than I thought um, it had. So. We'll run down in a minute and look at the case baler we bought. Brought the uh, case LB333 back here a little while ago, too. We'll do a little walk around of this thing. Well, like I said, I don't know how long we've had this baler. But it's got somewhere... I, I don't even want to guess how many bales it's got on it because I don't have the monitor. Um plugged into it right now but um sean's got about three quarters of it grease so far here and um looks like we could have gotten trouble over here on this side you see that twine hanging down i've had this happen before the damn twine uh falls out of the um twine ball and it ends up making a freaking mess. Wad that up and shove it back down in that one ball there. That could have ended up leaving a whole bunch of twine on Route 20. If you have a Hansel and Gretel thing, you'd be able to find out where you uh, where you have been. So, um, all right, that's gonna about do it for this uh, this baler here. So we'll run down and look at the uh, LB333, and then we're gonna. Close up this video here. All right, now we're down here standing with the uh, Case IH LB um, 333 big square baler, and we've got that um, hooked to the 7290. Uh, we'll turn the camera around here and uh, give you guys a, a little look at this. All right, this is the Case IH LB 333. You guys will see this baler in action here once we get. Um, bale and straw when we bought this baler it was a year and a half or, or so years old it only had a handful of bales on it but um we did buy it used we've had it for i don't know five or six years now so we had a fair amount of work done to it last year because we could not get any density out of the bale so hopefully this year um Hopefully this year it'll bail a bail. Right, Sean? Oh no, that's Andrew. So. 
All right, that'll give you an idea of what this thing's all about. You've seen it in the past videos from last year and whatever, and we'll do some more from this year. So that's going to do it for this video, folks. I want to thank you for watching. We'll catch you at the next one.